Hey what's up guys welcome to another video in which we are going to learn about method overloading in java programming so guys in java two or more methods can have the same name if they differ in parameters different number of parameters they can have or different types of parameters or they can have both that is different parameters and different types of parameters then we call it as method overloading so guys it can so happen that you are having a function name and the same name is used in the multiple other functions as well but the only difference between those functions are the parameters that they are taking so as you can see in this example all the four functions are having the same function name whereas the parameters the very first function is not having any parameter the second function is having an integer parameter the third function is having the double parameter and the fourth function is having two parameters that is one is integer and another one is float so guys in this scenario we can say that method overloading is taking place and how do we call the provided function let's say we want to call this function with an integer data type so how do we call this so guys whenever we are calling the function we have to provide the appropriate parameter in order for the control statement to go to the exact function that is intended so guys we will see all this with the help of examples but to make it more clear all it depends on the parameter and the type of parameter that we are providing while calling the function and accordingly the control statement will match with the required function name and will execute the code in that function name so over here i have provided some more details why method overloading so guys suppose you have to perform the addition of given numbers but there can be any number of arguments so let's say either two or three arguments for simplicity so in order to accomplish the task you can create two methods that is sum to num that means it is going to take two numbers or else you can also create sum three num which is going to take three integers and then it depends on your function calling whether you are calling the function with the two parameters or calling the function with the three parameters so guys over here function overloading is not occurring since the function name is different so i'll just copy this and paste this over here so in this case as you can see sum to num and sum to num these are the same function names whereas the parameters that it is taking over here there are two parameters whereas over here there are three parameters and accordingly the required function will be called so guys let us understand this with the help of example so guys we will take the addition of numbers example over here so let's say we create a function so we create static and then we have void and then function name that is add numbers and then let's say we have only two numbers that is int a comma int b so over here we are providing two numbers and what we will do is we will print the sum of these two numbers so i will provide the print statement over here so inside the print statement we have sum is and then what we will do is we will add these numbers over here so a plus b so guys it is very important to note that over here we are not adding these numbers and storing the value in a particular variable but we can also add the numbers in the print statement itself so this mathematics over here as you can see a plus b will return the sum of these numbers and this sum of number that is the value will be printed along with this string over here and the similar way we are going to have the same function name but with three different parameters so let's say we have the add numbers so as we can see there is a red line over here so this is a compiler error so eclipse is telling us that there is some error over here so duplicate method add numbers int int in type java test class so rename method is one of the solution but we don't want to rename it since we are going to see the example of method overloading in which case the function names are same whereas the parameters are different so what i'm going to do is in the second function i'm going to add another parameter that is int c and then in this println statement i will do a plus b plus c so that means the third integer is also taken into consideration and then the sum will get printed so guys let us call these methods over here from the main method so i'll just provide add numbers over here and then let's say we have two numbers that is 10 and then 20 so we have provided 10 and 20 over here and then we have the semicolon so let me save this file and try running this code so as we can see sum is 30 that means 10 and 20 was added so over here what happened is 
this function that is add numbers got called and these two numbers were assigned to these variables that is int a equal to 10 and int b it is equal to 20 and both the numbers were added and sum is a plus b that is 30. Now guys let us say we want to add three numbers so I'll just provide comma the third number let's say 30 over here and then let me just save this file and try running this code. So as we can see sum is 30 that's because three parameters and this particular function name is matching with this function that is having the three parameters a b and c and that is how we are adding these numbers that is a b and c and in this way guys we can easily use method overloading in order to have similar kind of operations but with different number of parameters and different types of parameters guys to make it more easy for you sum of i'll just provide two numbers over here and over here i'll provide three numbers so that we exactly come to know that which function is being called so when this function is getting called we will get the print statement as sum over here i'll just change this to off okay sum of two numbers and over here as well i'll just change this to off so sum of three numbers i'll just save this file and try running this code so as we can see sum of three numbers is 60 we are getting and whereas when we are having two numbers i'll just remove this and just provide two parameters let me run this code so as we can see sum of two numbers that is 30 is getting printed now guys let us say i'll just remove this second parameter over here and we are just providing one parameter so as we can see we are getting a red line over here that is a underline so when we hover over it it says the method add number int int in the type java test class is not applicable for the arguments int so basically the program is expecting either two parameters or three parameters but the method that is being called over here is called with one parameter and in this case it is the compile error so if we try saving this and running this code it will still give us the compile error stating that errors exist in required project proceed with the launch even if we proceed then it will give us the runtime error that is unresolved compilation problem add numbers in the type so the same error is being displayed over here so guys in this way we can easily use the method overloading we have to check that how many parameters are present in the method that we are calling and also the type of parameters that we are passing is also important so guys let me show you another example with three parameters so we'll provide one two and then three let me save this file and try running this code so as we can see sum of three numbers that means this particular method is getting executed so sum of three numbers and the sum will get printed that is six so three plus two plus one is six and in this way we can easily use the method overloading feature of the java programming so guys that's it in this video please make sure that you practice on your own so that on different inputs you'll get different outputs and that is the way you should learn java programming please make sure that you like this video so that it reaches to more people and subscribe to this channel so that you get the notifications on upcoming videos as well the next video that we are going to talk about is java constructors for class objects so stay tuned